Hi, it's Jody from Clutter Free Classroom, and I recently did a video um, featuring my math workshop board explaining how the board works. So if you haven't checked that out, feel free to do that. Um, in the meantime, I'm here now because I wanted to share with you how I manage my math supplies that they need for the workshop. So the four sections that I use are Math Facts, At Your Seat, Teacher's Choice, and Hands On. And what I do is I just write right on the pocket chart exactly what their choices are for that. So um, for their seat work, I just explain what the page is and uh, page number, and they can always know where they're going to find that. For the manipulatives and activities where they need actual materials for, or games or whatnot. Um, you'll see that I've labeled it hexagon cookies N, fraction dominoes D, fraction puzzles O, and what those letters represent are the containers in which I've stored the materials that they need. So if we travel over this way, um, this is my math supply area. Now I actually have most of my supplies in the closet um, and I put them out on a rotating basis depending on which unit we're working on. Down below I do have some uh, pattern blocks and interlocking cubes and things that the kids tend to enjoy using as a choice or a recess activity so I leave those out so they're accessible. But otherwise I just kind of go with which strand we're working on. And so I've put together containers which I've just labeled A um, through R. They're different um, shapes so they meet my different needs and I put in the activities that they'll need depending on what we're working on during my math workshop. So for example, it said um, that one of the choices for hands-on was hexagon cookies in N. So if a child was to come over to N, they would find the hexagon cookies are right there. If they wanted to play Capture 5, which is one of the math facts, that's in M. Uh, fraction dominoes are up here. It said D, so they can just take that down if they need it. And then I also have some boxes, which has inside, this is the fraction, um, another fraction activity that they could be working on in their math bags. And the reason I did this was just so that I would have different size containers, so I would have some options, whether it was card games or dice or whatnot. As far as the containers, um, these boxes down here, labeled Q through R, I'm sorry, O through R, those are just those white paper boxes that I got from Ikea are really cheap. I think they're two for a dollar, but you can actually get them um, pretty much anywhere. It's just a magazine holder. It's just a cheap cardboard version of it. They've held up well. I've had them for a few years. Put a strip of car uh, scrapbook paper over the back of it. M&N &M are dish pans. And then the ones up above are actually yogurt containers. They're the large size one, the Stonyfield Farm. And my kids eat a ton of yogurt, so I just saved them and spray painted them so they matched and hot glued the letters on, which I believe these letters came from the dollar store, but I mean you could easily type something up. Anyway, so that's what they do. They just come over, they get what they need when they're at the center, and I'm able to change it out pretty easily. Anyway, thanks for stopping by.